What's up everybody, it's your boy West Grand, you're watching Sub Urban Nerd, this is the channel where I give my nerd views on today's nerd news, but I also give my review on movies, and today's movie I'm going to be giving a review on is an animated movie by DC called The Death of Superman. And sorry if you hear a little rumbling in the back, you know it's like, a, it's like 100 degrees or something still now, so I got the AC on. So, that being said, I want to tell you guys one thing. I only had one kind of issue with this movie. And it was because people just linger too long. Like, you see someone die, you're looking at it, they're waiting for the bad guy doomsday to turn around, and then, oh snap, he saw me, waits till he walks up to them, screams, and then tries to run. I'm sorry, you, you peek, you take a look, whatever, and then you just try and get out. Like, you hope he don't see you. You don't stay there, wait till he sees you, and then you're oh. like, I'm sorry. that's my one thing. Other than that, this movie was amazing. Uh, amazing. DC, why is it you can get it right with the animated movies, but when it comes to your live action, you have no idea? Because this, this is what Batman vs. Superman should have been. Take lessons from this. Because this movie, this movie is the first movie in I don't even know how long. I think ever to legit get tears from me. I'm not even exaggerating. At the end, when we all know that the Superman, that means he dies, whatever. But how he goes out, legit, had my eyes watering. And I was like, okay, I can maintain this. But then, then I blinked, and tears actually came down. And then I blinked again, and more tears. I wiped it. I wasn't bawling, but I legit cried because the motion was so good. The way they got you to feel for Superman. And they did it right. This is what they did. They showed you having a struggle. Him, you showed that he had a relationship with Lois Lane, and they were keeping a secret. And then somehow she felt like something. He was hiding something. He was holding back. He wasn't giving. It, like he said, his parents were coming into town, and then she was like, "Oh, word, that's great." He was like, "Oh, um, so you want to see them?" And she was like, "Of course I want to see them." Oh, you don't want me to see them? He was like, "I, I do. Just you know, just I, if you're ready for it." And you can see he was hesitating because he hasn't told Lois Lane that he's Superman yet. He's still just Clark, Clark Kent to her. Smallville Clark Kent. So this movie shows you his struggle with not knowing how, like if you should tell her or not. And then you see the side of Lois Lane. Of if you're in a relationship and a guy's keeping a secret like this from you, you're gonna feel a certain way. You're gonna you're gonna feel hesitant. You're not gonna be sure of the relationship. And they show that to you. At the same time, they show this monster going through. They show, they even acknowledge the fact that in the in the first um, like uh, Batman, no, in the first Justice League movie where they fight um, Darkseid. After that, there was sort of like a relationship between Wonder Woman and Superman, and they even acknowledge that. And she was, he was like, it was it was fun. She was like, it was fun while it lasted. And he said, yes, it was. So he acknowledges. So they're they're met, they're broken up. So she's even encouraged, like, yo, maybe you should just tell her about who you are. If you got, if you truly feel like you love or whatever. That's what you knew. And he's still not sure. In fact, it's to the point where it takes Barry, Barry Allen, the Flash, getting married, and he was like, how do you, did you, did you tell her? He's like, tell her what? You know, you're about your, your identity? And then Cyborg's like, bro, you don't drop a bomb like that on your, on your, uh, on your, on your wedding, what's that thing called again? On your, uh, moon? Honeymoon. Yeah, you don't drop the bomb like that on your honeymoon, which makes sense. It's like you marry someone, you, you figure you tell them all the truth, all your secrets, and then on the honeymoon after you get married, like, honey, I'm a superhero. I'm sorry, you tell them that before. Like, you, you kind of make, see if they want to be part of that life. I know it's very risky, you don't know, but at that point, if you want to marry them and you trust them enough, you should be telling them. So after he finds out that, okay, he was like, and how do you, how do you balance it? He was like, well, when you with someone and they love you, you, like you trust them and they trust you, and you just hope that it works out. So and then that's what kind of gave him the idea that maybe he should tell her. But throughout the movie, you see this Doomsday character. This Doomsday, he's vicious. When I say vicious, like this movie, DC movie, animated movies, they have been kind of like R-rated because there is blood. These show like him just grabbing heads, crushing, filling the blood up in the water. Just people are dying. People are dying left and right. They do not hold back. And while this is going on, you still see the relationship with, um, with Superman because 
the thing's going down, but nobody, like, one woman doesn't want to tell Superman yet because she wants him to work on her. She's like, yo, we can handle this because they don't know it's Doomsday. They don't know what's going on. They just know that people are dying this little monster whatever came out of the water. So they think, okay, once they meet him, just Lee can handle this on her own. Mm-mm-mm. Not today. Uh-uh-uh. 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 If you guys know where that's from, comment down below. But that being said, yeah. Superman in the lowest lane, where it really gets you is, finally he comes to terms, he's going to tell her. He calls her to a diner. And at the diner, he's, you know, he's talking to her. And while they're at the diner, Justice League runs into Doomsday. Doomsday is whipping their ass, left and right. Nobody's holding them down. One woman puts up a good fight. She puts up a good fight. She gets some hits in. But at the, at, in the end, she comes with the sword. Like, yo, oh my god. Like, she's going in. Cyborg's going in. Green Lantern goes in, he starts beating him down, Jack Hammer, he gets knocked out. Cyborg gets his arm ripped off, Batman's trying to survive, somehow Batman's holding him up, but he's like dodging buildings and trucks left and right. Meanwhile, you still got Superman telling Lois Lane, I'm, she finally breaks down and tells him like, I'm Superman. There's, there's, there's a secret, there's two secrets I, I need to tell you. He's like, number one, I'm Superman. So he's like, no. No, I don't believe it. He's like, Look at me. Really look at me. And then she's like, ah, It makes sense. It makes sense. Oh my god, it makes sense. All this time. You, oh my god. And she's just flipping out. And then she's, she's like, Shh. So and then she was like, All this time, you went run. And then the secret, then your parents? You, so, you, are they your parents? He was like, Yes, but it's complicated. But he tells her, and while he's telling her, there's another secret I want to tell you. She gets a call on her phone. It's Jimmy. Jimmy's like, yo, Wonder Woman, I mean, yo, Just League just, just got the asses handed to them. We need to go down. And she's got on the phone. And then uh, while she, tur she turns back, all there is is money for the, for the coffee or whatever that they drink. And then a little card. And what the, when you look at the card, she opens it. it the card says, another secret. Uh, another secret I had. And then she opens it and says, I love you. And then she runs outside, sees him flying off as Superman. And then she goes and then Jimmy comes with the helicopter. They go and they start recording. You just see, like, Doomsday, like, wrecking house. Wonder Woman gets, gets some hits and comes with her sword. It breaks. He knocks it down. He takes a broken sword about to stab Wonder Woman. Bam! Gets hit by Superman. And then Superman starts fighting. And this is where it kicks to another level. This is what I wish I'd seen in Batman vs Superman. The fight was epic. The fight was real because all the time, I have this one issue with Superman. Superman, that I say, like, unlike Goku or whatever, which I used to have certain feelings like Goku was better than Superman, but after Dragon Ball Super, I don't really know. This dude seems like a villain in a way. Low-key villain. But... Superman knocks him, keeps knocking him away, trying to get him away from civilians and from uh, from the city and whatever. And he keep, wherever he lands, there's more people, and he keeps destroying stuff, and he keeps killing people. And Superman keeps knocking him away, trying to get him away from all this, but he keeps jumping back because he's like the Hulk. He just jumps right back at him, and then a fight goes from the city to the little to the to the suburbs to the bridge, and then the bridge he straps him up, and every, you know, at the same time, everybody, the people that are trying trying to. Superman is going and saving them. He's saving people and they're getting hit. And he's saving people and still getting hit. No, this is what makes you feel for Superman. Like, yo, this is a true hero. This is what we wish we saw in Batman vs. Superman. We had no emotion with the Batman vs. Superman. Like, Superman just seemed like he didn't want to be a superhero. This guy seemed legit like he wanted to help everybody. But he couldn't handle Doomsday. Doomsday was that dude that kept knocking him down. Superman kept getting up. He kept knocking him down. Even with one, with, um, he got him away from all the Justice League members. Then you got Lois Lane on top of the building, and uh, Doomsday somehow knocked it, and then it starts falling down. Superman saves it. He jumps up. He cuts the um, propeller or whatever off of the thing, and straight up hits him with a baseball bat. And that's when it goes all the way to the bridge. And then the fight just keeps going to the point where Superman's knocked down. Knocked down. And then at the same time, you've got Lex Luthor who's been plotting this whole thing. He has a super suit with a, a, a kryptonite beam and he starts shooting it. Starts shooting it at, at, the, at the doomsday. 
And he looks like he's winning. He's getting cocky. And this is what, like, all backers always get cocky. Just keep shooting him and kill the dude. Don't stand over a monologue. Because after that, bam. Doomsday kicks him. Rips open his armor. Right about to kill him. Superman. He, get, he hits him away. Superman saves him. Last minute. And Lexus Luthor is like, no. Why? Because he wanted to save the city. He wanted to show that he's a hero. Not Superman. Superman goes back in. Fights. Knocks him into a building. Building comes down. Every, like, explosions. Lois Lane gets blown away to blows and so is Jimmy. And then he clicks up Superman. He stomps him, stomps him, stomps him. Puts out a claw. No, no, not a claw. I think it was a claw. And he's about to stab and kill Superman. She throws a rock at him to stop him. It's a trope. I've seen in a lot of anime. I've seen a lot of shows, a lot of movies. That the weak person throws a rock at the, at the bad guy. Like, what is that going to do? But it gives the good guy just enough time. And this is where it excels. He walks up to Lois Lane, growing more, more, more armor, growing a claw. He's about to hit Lois Lane. Superman wakes up. He sees this. He takes all the strength. Boom! Shockwave comes with both fists straight at him. Hits Doomsday to the point so hard that his neck turns around and snaps and breaks. At the same time, Doomsday stabs him with a claw and they both go down. And then Superman slides off his claw and he's dying. Everyone's watching this on TV and he's dying. Tears. And this is where it got me. Because such heroicness, such sacrifice, and it, it seemed so real. And this is an animated movie. I don't know, I'm getting chills now just thinking about it. It it, it was something that I I I didn't think I would feel or in a scene in an animated movie. I wish I felt this way in Batman vs Superman, but his death meant nothing because they didn't give you the time to see him truly help the people. They didn't give you a time to truly see him want to be in a relationship. The whole time it was just mopey and mad and upset, maybe I shouldn't be a hero. This Superman wanted to be a hero. This Superman was truly a hero, saving his co com comrades, saving his, his girlfriend that he loved and he told her and he told her the, that his his identity and that's what made this even worse the fact that he finally opened up and it was over and that's how it ends the story goes on in the comics this was a huge moment in comics in general because this was the first time in when when Superman dies in the, in the comics this is the first time any superhero died any superhero died it's never it never been done before every superhero always won in the end but this was the first one where he died in it changed the game in comics. In comics, now it's like the, the rules are out. We can do this. But it also changed the rules as far as people can come back from death. So, as far as my review of this movie, for the first time, even though with the tropes of people monologuing and taking too long, I will give this movie an A. You know what? I will give it an A+. Plus. Why? Because it actually made me feel. It made me feel what it was to watch true superheroes. A true superhero movie. and made you feel emotion. So, I know I probably just told the whole story. But this is for you people that have watched it. And if you guys feel the same way I felt watching this. Because I, I didn't see any reviews. I didn't watch any reviews. I don't know how many people feel this way. But I legit felt that emotion. Maybe I'm just the only one. But if I'm not, comment down below and tell me how you felt watching this. Because it's something you should watch. If you haven't seen it and this tells, and, and this makes you want to see it, you should see it. Because this movie, will, will, it changes the game once again. So, like I said, remember to put on notifications. Tell your friends. Tell your mama. Tell your dad. Tell your whole family. <laughs> and uh, just remember to subscribe. Check out my last review of a movie. And check out my last... Um, my playlist of all the movies I review. So remember, I'm Wes Grant. You've been watching Sub Urban Nerd. And you've just been notified. Catch you guys on the next superhero review.